What's going on, my beautiful queens? It's your girl, Lovey Natural. I am back with a brand new hair tutorial for you ladies. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to achieve this beautiful color and how to style this wig unit. Brought to you by your list of hair. All the hair information will be linked in the description box below. Now let's begin. First things first, let's get the color. I use Dark and Lovely, this blonde color from Dark and Lovely. I use that packaging in blue that I cannot pronounce and BW2. You can screenshot this if you want and go to your local beauty supply store. I promise you they're going to have it. Just screenshot it and show it to them. The first thing I want to do is you want to section your hair in four sections. Off camera, I already bleached the back. I use the BW2 on the back. Originally, I bought the BW2 for the whole entire head, but then I noticed that um, after I did the back section, I ran out of color. So I actually had to run to CVS to get the um, dark and lovely. And that's how I ended up doing three different bleaching and one wig unit, and it worked for me. So um, as you can see, ladies, I'm taking the blue packaging and I'm placing the color in the front of my hair. By the way, I am using a 30 developer. I mix the 30 developer with the blue, blue packaging simply because it is made to bleach the hair fast. And for some reason, I just really wanted the front of my hair to be really, really um, blonde or strawberry blonde. So that's a quick little trick that you ladies can use if you really wanna achieve like that just bleach look. So I don't wanna confuse you ladies, so let me just say, what I'm doing right right now. So I'm applying the blue packaging towards the root and to the front of my hair, right? But then I'm going in with the dark and lovely and I'm smoothing that product through the entire hair, if that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, then just rewind this video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So you wanna you know, part the hair, right? And then I apply the blue powder well, it's not a powder no more. It's obviously a color. And I apply it to the roots. And then I go in with the dark and lovely color. And then I smooth that through. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, like I said, ladies, I ran out of color. So make sure that if you're bleaching your hair, you're dyeing your hair, that you have enough color. Luckily for me, there's a CVS not too far from me. And I was able to run and, and, and get me some extra color. But, um, yeah. The next step is, boom, voila, let the hair sit. I let the hair sit for about 40 minutes and I washed it with Tresemme conditioner. And I let it over dry, I said over dry. I let it the hair or air dry overnight and then I just blow dry the entire wig unit and I use my pressing comb from, for the front. I also pluck the front, okay? So make sure you don't skip those steps because if you really wanna slay this wig unit, you must blow dry the hair and press the front and don't forget to pluck. I didn't show you guys that because in my last hair tutorials, I already showed you guys how to pluck and um, how to press and all of that. So I just wanted to show you guys how I achieved the curls after the color. And as you guys can see, I'm doing exactly what I did in my last hair tutorial. I'm going to use spritz. I love using spritz. Comment below if your mother used to use spritz um, on your hair when she used to press it back in the day. Because my mom definitely used spritz on my hair and it's really good at holding curls. But anyways, I'm using a one inch Con Air curling iron that I got from CVS. For some reason, I just love CVS. Like you cannot go wrong with CVS. One thing about CVS that I love is that when you buy like curling irons or anything, like if it doesn't work, you can get your money back, okay? Beauty supply stores, they don't really give you your money back if something's, you know, if a iron is not working, so. And their irons work so, so amazing. I love Con Air. Now, so what you want to do, once again, you want to rake the, I said a rake, you want to comb out the hair, spray, spritz on the hair, right? Just, a, you know, a light mist, not too too much because spritz is very, um, it has a strong hold. So you want to make sure that you hold the spritz 10 inches away. And then you want to go in with your um, curling iron if you do not know how to curl. It is very difficult for me to explain, so I hope that you can, um, you know, you can just see what I'm doing and just do the same. And what I like to do to hold my curl in, curl in place, I use pins that you use to roll and set your hair, also brought to you by the Beauty Spice store. 
And I'm going to curl this last one. And then um, I'm going to show you guys, you know, how it came out. No need for me to really show you guys um, how I curled the whole entire head because, you know, it's a bit redundant. You pretty much see what I'm doing. So you don't need a full video on that. But do you see the difference when you blow dry the hair and press it? I didn't even use a flat iron to straighten the hair. And it's going to be so voluminous and nice. Like, all this time, I used to straighten the hair first, then curl it, and then blow dry it. It's just too much. So keep it basic. Keep it simple. You're still going to achieve a nice look. Yeah. And voila. Then... I just remove all the clips from the hair. Just be very careful when you're removing the clips because I noticed that um, a lot of them were getting like tangled up for some reason. So just be careful because you don't want to ruin the uh, sequence of the hair pattern, the, the curl and whatnot. You don't want to mess up the feng shui of the curls. Yeah, so I'm going to remove all the clips and show you guys how it looks. You know what is crazy? The hair could have been even more curlier, Curl, curlier, but I use a one inch barrel. If you like a lot of curls, I definitely recommend that you, you use like a one and a half inch. And then boom, voila. I didn't even cut this hair. I didn't layer this hair. Um, I literally just took my wide tooth comb, comb it through and boom. I'm going to leave the hair information in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. Mwah.